Astronaut Frank Borman died this past Tuesday. He was 95. Commander of Apollo 8, the first space mission to orbit the moon in 1968. My biggest remembrance about Saturn V was the noise. Oh, and there's the rumble in our building. What a beautiful flight. Borman and fellow astronauts James Lovell and William Anders had traveled farther from the Earth than any human had ever ventured. Man is farther away from home than he's ever been before, a hundred times farther away. We're looking forward now, of course, to the day after tomorrow when we'll be just 60 miles away from home. Their Christmas sojourn came at the end of a particularly grim year for their nation. The United States had been shaken by continuing involvement in the war in Vietnam and the assassinations of Robert Kennedy and Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. While Borman flew in space twice, he never actually set foot on the lunar surface. He would later confess he had no interest in doing so. There's no way that I would have accepted the risk to go back to pick up rocks. Welcome to the moon, Houston. Thank you. By the way, it was on that Apollo 8 mission that the astronauts first witnessed Earth rise. The Earth as seen above the surface of the moon that photograph lives on, a permanent testament to their history-making voyage. We got thousands of telegrams after the flight, but the one that struck me the most, thank you, Apollo 8, you saved 1968.